Thank you for viewing this Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment video on reduction of metals aimed at teachers used by anyone. I'm Scott Munro. In this video I will demonstrate the thermite reaction between aluminium and iron oxide. This should be a class demonstration. Students will need to use their observation skills. It will fit into your scheme of work at Key Stage 3 in the Chemical Energies topic and at Key Stage 4 in the Rates of Reaction topic and the Chemical Energies topic. Here is a suggested technician's list for this experiment. Up to 32 grams of iron oxide. I've used 32 grams here. It must be kept in a desiccator until the last minute. Up to 11 grams of aluminium powder. I've used 9 grams here. That also must be kept in a desiccator. Your technician might want to mix it for you. You need a clamp stand, a boss and clamp two terracotta flower pots, an F1 grade sparkler, small metal tray filled with sand, an old fire blanket or heat proof mats, fireproof gloves, safety screens and wire cutters. This demonstration requires a lot of respect. It must be done indoors. Let your fire officer know that you're doing it and keep the doors to internal corridors closed and windows open. Make sure your ingredients are kept in a desiccator until the last minute. The aluminium powder is flammable. The sparkler must be a category F1, tested for indoor use. Once you start the reaction, do not return to it until it's finished. In the past, we used to use an igniter mix. You'll need an explosive license now if you want to continue with that method. Clear a work area. Put your heat proof mats down to protect the desks. I use an old fire blanket. I ask the students to move back. I try to have an empty desk between them and the demonstration. Place a clamp stand in the centre of the table. Put the sand tray on the base and clamp one of the flower pots between 10 and 15 centimetres above the tray. Tear a disc of filter paper to fit the base of the second flower pot. Slot the second flower pot into the first Transfer the iron oxide and aluminium mix to the top flower pot. The sparkler only needs to be about 15 to 20 centimetres long. Use the wire cutters to remove all of the metal handle. Carefully insert the sparkler into the thermite mix. You now need to consider your own safety. Wear heatproof gloves and safety glasses. Ensure your exit from the reaction is clear of obstacles. I always walk it. Only once you are confident of the safety of the students, yourself and the furniture, turn the Bunsen to a blue roaring flame and ignite the top of the sparkler. Retreat and observe. Don't return to the equipment until it has completely finished. After the experiment, you could ask your students to state the thermite reaction uh, as an exothermic reaction or an endothermic reaction. Ask the students to describe how they knew a reaction was taking place. Ask the students to write down the word equation for the reaction. Ask them to order the aluminium and iron by their reactivity. You could ask your students to state the species that was reduced. The total cost for chemical consumables, including sparklers and the flower pots, is about £1.70. 
The flower pots can be recycled and this will reduce the cost. I hope you found this video useful. Please like it by clicking the thumbs up button. Post a comment. Subscribe to Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment. Lots more videos to come through the academic year. Thank you and goodbye.